Hi, I'm Gareth Marlow. I had a question recently from somebody with imposter syndrome asking what they could do about it. Uh, great question uh, and one that comes up an awful lot uh, with the people that I work with. So what's imposter syndrome? Uh, I guess it's three things. The first is it's a belief that you're not capable of doing what's being asked of you. The second thing is it's a belief that other people have misjudged and overestimated your abilities. So they have somehow become confused or misguided about what you're actually capable of. Um, and the third is the belief that other people have got this sorted, that it's just you who's winging it and just you who's struggling and that everybody else has got this figured out. So what's the anti-pattern to uh, imposter syndrome? Well, I used to think it was just arrogance. Uh, so this kind of huge overinflated sense of self-belief that people were capable of anything. Um, but the more time that I spend with people who are genuinely don't really have a problem with these kinds of things, the more I realize it's not arrogance, it's just pure confidence. Uh, so what does that mean? What that means is a belief that what I don't know, I can just find out. So it's not thinking about a shortfall in skills as being I'm just winging it. It's a growth mindset thing. Uh, these are just things to sort out along the journey and the journey is what's gonna sort them out. Um, the second thing is that uh, people who don't suffer from imposter syndrome uh, have a much more balanced sense of what their strengths are. So they're able to recognize where they have strengths and they're able to deploy those strengths well. Um, and the third attribute, I think, is that sort of really believing in the trust that is being placed in those people by, uh, by others, you know? So if you've asked me to do this work, if you've asked me to take this responsibility, it's not because I have somehow hoodwinked you, it's because you genuinely believe that I'm capable of it. Um, so if that's what the people without imposter syndrome have and that's the way that they think, how can we help the people who do have imposter syndrome to overcome it? Well, I'm surprised that it's taken me this long to get a Star Wars metaphor or analogy into one of these videos, but here we go. I think that the answer to this really comes down to JFDI like a JEDI. So just do it like a Jedi. Um, I'm taking as inspiration from this uh, one of the 10 best films ever made, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, and there's three parts of the film which I think are relevant to this situation. Two of them are on Dagobah and one of them is on Bespin. So on Dagobah, Luke Skywalker is with Yoda. He's attempting to get Yoda to teach him to become a Jedi. Uh, they're working through that process. It's not going fantastically well. And at one point, Luke's trying to extract his sunken X-Wing from the swamp. And he tries and he tries, but he just can't muster the strength to, uh, to get his spacecraft out. Uh, so he turns to Yoda and basically says, it's, it's too much, uh, it's too big. Uh, I, I can't do it, it's, it's, uh, it's just too much for me. Um, to which Yoda responds by uh, taking the X-Wing out of the swamp himself and saying, judge me by my size, do you? Uh, so the lesson there is, you know, what you're seeing from the outside doesn't really represent the real skills and the real abilities to, uh, to get the thing done. Um, the second thing that Yoda says is, do or do not, there is no try. And this isn't about, this isn't really about just have some blind faith that it's going to be okay. What this is about is really sort of saying that you will develop the skills and you will develop your confidence in the skills by doing the thing. So if you approach it thinking, I'm just going to try, then your mind is already open to the possibility that um, you're most likely to just crush hard. Whereas when you approach the problem from the perspective of, no, I'm just gonna do it, and I'm just gonna do it by attempting to do it, then you're much more likely to succeed that sort of fearless type of approach. Um, and the third bit when this all comes together is uh, it, 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 at the end of the duel between Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader on Cloud City. Uh, and Darth Vader has basically already cut his, we've just discovered, hand off. Uh, Luke is there sort of hang, hanging from this platform Darth Vader says, you know, come and join me, it's the only way. And then there's this moment where Luke looks around and he realizes he does have another way forward and he just lets go and drops. Uh, and he drops down an escape chute to his escape. So there is just that moment of clarity there that there is only one way forward, that the only way of discovering whether or not this is possible is by doing it. And then JFDI, like a JEDI.
So all of this is easy to say, it's not so easy to do when the barriers to doing it are these kind of blocks that you have in your mind. So how to get past that? Well, really, I think you, it's very hard to do on your own. It's very hard to convince yourself that you are being irrational, or rather, it's very hard to get out of that irrational block on your own. Um, so I think you need somebody else in the conversation. What somebody else in the conversation does is it helps you to rationalize where your strengths are and, and where your weaknesses are. Um, so all of those areas where you are sort of downplaying the things that you are good at and you have been recognized for, another person can help draw your attention to that. It can also help you by asking you to give evidence to support your assertion that you can't do these things. Um, because some of the time, you know, you believe that you can't do it, but um, when somebody says to you, well, how can you prove that you can't do it? Well, you can't. So just asking those questions can help. And then the third thing is, it's you know, about making sure that somebody has got the confidence to be able to act at the point when they're ready to act. They're no longer stuck in that kind of procrastination, should I hesitate, should I not, second guessing thing. It's like, no, you're as ready as you're going to be. The only way to make progress from this point onwards is by doing. So a little bit trite, but there had to be some kind of uh, Star Wars reference in there at some point. Today was the day, imposter syndrome, JFDI, like a JEDI. I'm Gareth, that's it for me today. I'll see you next time.